We were asked to write each quotient using a single base, do not simplify further, and then write all answers with positive exponents. We will be simplifying these quotients using both the quotient rule of exponents as well as the negative rule of exponents. The quotient rule of exponents states x raised to the power of a divided by x raised to the power of b equals x raised to the power of a minus b, which means when dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents. And the negative rule of exponents states a raised to the power of negative n equals one over a raised to the power of positive n. And we'll use this first example to better understand why this negative exponent rule makes sense. So looking at number one, we have y to the second divided by y to the fifth because the bases are the same and we're dividing, we subtract the exponents. This is equal to y raised to the power of two minus five. Remember, for this difference, it's always the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. Two minus five is equal to negative three. This simplifies to y raised to the power of negative three. Now we apply the negative rule of exponents because we're asked to express the answers using positive exponents. So applying the negative exponent rule, y raised to the power of negative three equals one over y raised to the power of positive three. To better understand why this must simplify to one over y raised to the power of positive three, or why y raised to the power of negative three equals one over y to the power of positive three, let's look at this quotient again and expand y to the second and y to the fifth. So we have y to the second divided by y to the fifth. We know y to the second is equal to two factors of y. We know y to the fifth is equal to five factors of y. We know y is non-zero and any non-zero of y divided by itself simplifies to one, which means y divided by y simplifies to one here as well as here. Notice by simplifying this way, we can see the quotient simplifies to one over y raised to the power of positive three. This is one way to show that y raised to the power of negative three, which we get after applying the quotient rule of exponents, is equal to one over y raised to the power of positive three. It should also make sense because we know we have three more factors of y in the denominator, which is the reason why this simplifies to one over y raised to the power of three. Let's look at number two. We have a quotient with a common base of three x, and therefore we subtract the exponents. This quotient is equal to the base of three x raised to the power of four minus six. Four minus six is equal to negative two. This simplifies to the base of three x raised to the power of negative two. But again, we are asked to express the answer using positive exponents. The base of three x raised to the power of negative two is equal to one over the base of three x raised to the power of positive two using the negative exponent rule. And this should make sense looking back at the original quotient. We have four factors of three x in the numerator and six factors of three x in the denominator. So if we expanded and simplified, we'd be left with two factors of three x in the denominator. And now we will leave this in this form because we're told to simplify the quotient to a single base, which we have, even though we could multiply this out, we have two factors of three x. Three x times three x is equal to nine x squared. This is also equal to one over nine x squared. But we'll go ahead and leave it in this form. Now looking at number three, before we simplify the quotient, we need to determine the product in the numerator. Because we are multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents. And this is the product rule of exponents, which states x raised to the power of a times x raised to the power of b equals x raised to the power of a plus b. So y to the third times y to the second is equal to y raised to the power of three plus two we still have y to the ninth in the denominator. Two plus three is equal to five. We have y to the fifth divided by y to the ninth. And now we're dividing and the bases are the same. And therefore we subtract the exponents. This is equal to y raised to the power of five minus nine. Five minus nine is equal to negative four. This simplifies to so y raised to the power of negative four, which equals one over y raised to the power of positive four. Again, looking back at this quotient here, the final result should make sense because we have five factors of y in the numerator, nine factors of y in the denominator, and therefore after simplifying, 
we'll be left with four factors of y in the denominator. And finally for number four, we do have a common base of negative two z squared, which is raised to the third power in the numerator and to the seventh power in the denominator. Because we are dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents. This quotient is equal to the base of negative two z squared, raised to the power of three minus seven. Three minus seven equals negative four. This simplifies to the base of negative two z squared, raised to the power of negative four. To express this using a positive exponent, we apply the negative exponent rule, which means this is equal to one over the base of negative two z squared, raised to the power of positive four. Based upon the directions, we will leave this quotient in this form, but if we did multiply out the denominator, this would be equal to one over 16 z to the eighth. I hope you found this helpful.